In this video, we will provide the solution for question number 14 from practice exam number one for math 2270. In this question, we are given a set of vectors. Uh, four vectors are provided to you, and I'm just going to give them some names. We're going to call the first one A1, the second one A2, uh, the third one will be A3, and then the fourth one we'll call it A4, just so we can talk about them. So we have this set of vectors A1, A2, A3, A4, and we have another vector B. We are supposed to determine with proof whether B belongs to the span of the set S. That is, is B a linear combination of A1, A2, A3, A4? Um, I'm also going to introduce a matrix, A, whose column vectors are these four vectors in question, A1, A2, A3, and A4, like so. And so what we have to do to determine this, if B is a linear combination of the A's, that is B belongs to the span, that means the linear system associated to the augmented matrix A augment B must be consistent. That's what we're trying to do right now. <clears throat> so we want to solve that system of equations. So copying it down, we get the first vector. A1 is just 1, 1, 1, 1. Uh, A2 is 1, 2, 3, 4. A3 is 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1. And then A4 is 0, 0, 0, 1. We augment that with a B, 4, negative 2, 0, 1. We want to solve this linear system here. Our first pivot position would be in the 1, 1 spot. Uh, I want to get rid of all the ones that are below it. So we're going to take row 2 minus row 1. We're going to take row 3 minus row 1. And we're going to take row 4 minus row 1. Make sure you do show all your steps on this question here for full credit. So you're going to get a minus 1, a minus 1, a minus 1, and a minus 4. I skipped when there was a 0. And you're just going to do this to all of the columns. Uh, all the rows, I mean. Minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, and minus 4. And so then write down the next matrix here. The first row stays the same. 1, 1, 1, 0, 4. I'm going to give myself a little bit more space here. Just scooch it to the right. There we go. So for the second row, we're going to get 0, 1, negative 2, 0, negative 6. We're going to, for the third row, we're going to get 0, 2, 0, 0, negative 4. And then for the fourth row, we're going to get 0, 3, negative 2, 1, and negative 3. So we get a matrix that looks something like the following. That takes care of the first column. So for the next column, uh, focusing on the next pivot right here, we got to get rid of the, we have a one there, that's great. We got to get rid of the two and the three that are below it. So we're going to take row three minus from it two times row two, and we're going to take row four and subtract from it three times row two. So we get minus two plus four, there's a zero right there. So I'm just going to skip that one. And then we're going to get plus 12 right there. So for row four, we're going to get a minus three, a plus six, a zero, and then we're going to get a plus 18. And so then I'm going to transcribe that over here. Again, nothing happens to the first row, so just copy down one, 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 zero, four. For the second row, we're going to get zero, one, negative two, zero, and negative six. Again, nothing happened there. For the Third row, do make the appropriate modifications. You're going to get 0, 0, 4, 0, and 8. And then for the fourth row, you should get 0, 0, 4, 1. And then we have 18 take away 3. That should be a 15. Now we see right there. Uh, the next thing I want to do is uh, looking at my third pivot position, which would be in the 3, 3 spot. I'm going to subtract row four, um, I, I'm going to subtract from row four, row three. That'll just cancel the four that's right here, minus an eight. And so this puts the matrix then in echelon form. Let me scooch over a little bit. One, 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 zero, four. We're going to get zero, one, negative two, zero, negative six. Then we're going to get zero, zero, 4, 0, and 8. I also can't help but notice that everything in row 3 is actually divisible by 4. So I'm actually going to divide row 3 by 4 as well, just to help me out here. 1, 0, 2. And then we're going to get 0, 0, 0, 1. 
and then 15 take away 8 is going to be 7. So notice now what we have here. We have a matrix which is in echelon form. We have a pivot in each and every column right here. Uh, because we get a pivot in every column, this actually does tell us that the system is consistent, right? We have no contradictions. This matrix uh, represents a consistent linear system. And because the system is consistent, there is a solution. This tells us that, in fact, B is a linear combination of the A's. Now, in the case that A, or in the case that B is a linear combination, we have to now continue to find that linear combination. Uh, if, the answer, if this system turned out to be inconsistent, we could then report, no, B is not inside the span. But we have to keep on going now. So starting with the backwards phase, the one one or the four four position is already a one. That's great, and everything above it is already a zero. So then I'm going to start focusing on the three three spot. It's a one. That's great. And so I got to get rid of this negative two right here. We're going to do row two plus two times row three. So we get plus two and plus four. Let me transcribe that down here. So again, first row stays the same. There's a lot of copying when you do these matrix operations. We're going to get 0, 1, 0, 0, negative 2, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, and 0, 0, 0, 1, 7. And so then the last thing to deal with when you're looking at the 2, 2, we got to get, that's already a 1, that's great. Get rid of the 1 that's above it. So we're going to take row 1 minus row 2. So we have to take a minus one and then a plus two. And so this then gives us our final form. We're gonna have one. Oh, did I forget to do a row operation? It looks like I did. Um, so let me go back in time a little bit because I still need to do, I have this one right here. How did I forget that? Um, so yeah, let's make sure we get rid of that one too. So we're actually going to do row one minus row three. So we get a minus one and a minus two right there. Uh, that's fairly easy to switch to fix it here. Uh, so we get rid of this one, this four. So that should be a zero. And then we had four minus two, which is a two. Sorry about that mistake there. Uh, then we can still, then we can go to R one minus R two. So we're gonna minus a one and we're going to plus a two right here. And so in the end, despite that little hiccup there, we have just a bunch of ones and zeros on the other side, and we should have a four, a negative two, a two, and a seven. And so the solution to this linear system gives us the linear combination. So we'd say something like the following, yes, you know, B does belong to the span of S. And so in fact, we see that B is equal to four times A1 minus two times A2 plus two times A3 plus seven times A4. And since these vectors turned out to be independent, it turned out this is the only way you can express this linear combination like so. So this is the evidence that we wanted.